So even if you get to your early 20s and you're a healthy weight and then you start gaining weight as an adult, that really impacts on your health. So for every kilogram, one of the best papers on this I've seen was from the Nurses Health Study. So they modelled the effect of weight gain. So for every kilogram or couple of pounds you gain as an adult, your risk of breast cancer goes up by a couple of percent. This is for every couple of pounds. Okay, so you can multiply this up. Your risk of diabetes goes up 5%. Your chances of getting to 70 without a major health condition drop by about 5%. You can do your sums <laughs> depending on how much weight you've gained as, a, as an adult. So, you know, the, it, it really does impact on, on our health. What is kind of happening internally? Why is it causing such detriment internally? Basically, it's to do with primarily that we have too much fat. And when we have to, the body's trying to store that excess energy as fat, it will first of all put it in your in your subcutaneous fat, which is the kind of fat you can pinch, you know, the pinch the inch stuff. But then we start laying down fat in places where the body doesn't really want to have fat. And we call that ectopic fat. So that's kind of internal fat. And you get it in your liver, you get it in your pancreas. It's in your organs, basically. And then when your organs get fatty, they don't work as well. You get it in your kidneys, um, you get it around your heart, you get it in your abdomen, and you get it in your muscles. And when you get all these fat stored in these tissues that are not used to having lots of fat, they don't function as well, which you can imagine if you said to somebody, your organs don't function as well as that person over there. You can imagine why that might make you unwell. So what is a healthy weight? Is it still BMI? Is that still quite a good way to measure it? Or or how do we know if we're carrying too much? So BMI, body mass index, your weight over your height squared, is a reasonable proxy for a, a reasonable amount of number of people, particularly for women, we, we find. But it does have limitations. You know, we do need to make sure that we're keeping people out of the underweight zone. We don't want people with a body mass index of under 18.5. Um, but once you start getting, you know, towards 25 or above, um, then, you know, that's into the overweight. And then we're getting into the, you know, the very overweight, the obese categories of, of body mass index of 30. So that is one way of, of measuring it. Um, there is an understanding that for a lot of health conditions, not all, but they are more likely if we store fat around our middles rather than generally over the body. So to get a measure of that, people who use things like the waist to height ratio, that's now seen as a reasonable proxy, particularly in certain ethnic groups where they tend to store weight um, centrally. And we think that that central weight, we know it has links with diabetes, cardiovascular disease. Um, it's linked, specifically linked to certain cancers. I mentioned the link between obesity and cancer, but particularly with things like liver and pancreatic cancer, with some of the gastric cancers, colorectal cancer. General obesity is not, you know, even if you don't have a big, if you store your weight generally over your body, you know, you're not out of the woods. It's definitely going to impact on you uh, from a mobility point of view. You're probably uh, very likely to get things like sleep apnea. Um, it will impact on other cancer risks like breast, endometrial cancer and kidney cancer. So there are different different health conditions, if you like, that are linked to both. And once you get above a body mass index of 30, really, you're at risk of a lot of conditions, irrespective of where that fat is stored. You're likely to have too much fat around those places. 